This is a presentation of the Charlie Foundation for Ketogenic Therapies. My name is Beth zupek Kenya. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, and I'm going to give you a 10-minute crash course on ketogenic metabolic therapies and how this ancient diet might help you or a loved one. The history of ketogenic metabolic therapy, ketogenic diet, or just keto for short, goes back to both Hippocrates and the Bible, where fasting was described to cure diseases. I'll fast forward to the 1920s to highlight Dr. Wilder at the Mayo Clinic. He designed the ketogenic diet for treating epilepsy. Then in 1994, Jim and Nancy Abrams set up the Charlie Foundation to help others learn about the diet that completely eliminated their son Charlie's seizures. Jim went on to write, direct, and produce First Do No Harm, a film based on a true story of a child who, like Charlie, became seizure-free on keto after drugs failed him. Now here we are, a hundred years after the diet was described, and we're rediscovering the amazing benefits of keto, not only for epilepsy, but for many other neurological disorders, certain cancers, and psychiatric and endocrine disorders. This chart shows the number of medical publications since the 1930s about keto therapies. The arrow points to 1994, the year that the Charlie Foundation was created. The Charlie Foundation has been credited for the surge in interest in keto since then. Where's the evidence that it helps epilepsy? This is a Cochrane report, and Cochrane reports are stringent reviews of the best available research. Their 2020 report reviewed 13 trials with over 900 people in studies of keto for epilepsy. They concluded that both children and adults who follow a medically supervised keto therapy have 50% or greater reduction in seizures, and between 15 and 85% of children in these studies became seizure-free. The Charlie Foundation commissioned keto health experts around the world to write guidelines for how to prescribe and manage keto in children with epilepsy, and even identifies epilepsy syndromes or conditions where keto is highly beneficial. I'm honored to have been the second author on this paper after Dr. Eric Kossoff of Johns Hopkins Hospital. Similarly, a guideline for treating adults with keto for drug-resistant epilepsy was published. All three of these papers that I've shown you are available on the internet. These can be helpful to take to your doctor to educate them too. Here's a list of 40 conditions where keto therapy is shown to improve or reverse disease. I won't read through these, but it is a growing list that continues to reveal the powerful impact of keto therapy. Epilepsy is the only condition on this list where there have been randomized controlled trials to prove benefit. In other words, keto is not a fad diet. It's not an alternative therapy. It's an approved medical treatment for drug-resistant epilepsy and as I have shown you, there are now medical guidelines for how to safely prescribe it. How does it work? Well, keto has many effects on the body, which scientists have been studying for years. And although all of these are important, I'd like to point out number five, that it has anti-seizure and anti-epileptic effects. So keto has very unique effects that anti-seizure drugs don't have. Anti-seizure drugs are designed to prevent seizures from occurring. Keto therapy works to heal the brain of epilepsy. And whether you achieve better seizure control or if you become seizure-free, it's believed that there is a healing in the brain that can be permanent. What is the diet? Well, we get energy from our food, which our body can break down into two different fuels. Glucose is the energy fuel that comes from carbohydrates, and ketones is the energy fuel that comes from dietary fat. Keto metabolic therapies are highest in fat, moderate in protein, not high in protein, moderate in protein, and lowest in carbohydrate. It's the fat that makes ketones or ketosis. So nutritional ketosis is using ketones from dietary fat as the main fuel source. So when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're like a hybrid car. You will switch from using mostly carbohydrates for energy, like gas in a car, to using mostly ketones, like electricity. 
Now, there's not just one type of keto diet. There are four that have been designed for epilepsy and other conditions. The classic keto diet designed 100 years ago is described in terms of ratio. So a four to one diet means four times the amount of fat in grams to one, which equals the grams of carbohydrate and protein combined. So we have these different ratios, three to one, two to one, and one to one to also design the classic ketogenic diet. And if you look at the plate, the green area shows you percentage of fat, the red is protein, and the blue is carbohydrate. So the plate is demonstrating the four to one classic ketogenic diet. And it's this type of diet that is being called precision keto. After the precision classic keto diet was described several years later, the MCT oil keto diet was described, and that was in 1971. And this is lower in fat, but uses most of the fat from medium chain triglycerides. That's a fat that comes from coconut oil, and it's more ketogenic. And we actually use that oil in all four of the diets. The third type of keto diet is the low glycemic index treatment. And this is a newer and more liberal version of the diet intended to uh, be more like a one-to-one -one ratio. And finally, we have modified Atkins, also a newer version of the ketogenic diet intended to be liberal. So you can read more on each of these at charliefoundation.org. The Charlie Foundation website also has a section of recipes that are tasty alternatives to their high-carb cousins. And this is one of the most requested keto recipes, chocolate cake for birthdays and celebrations. We leave out the sugar and include other ingredients for sweetness. And the frosting is simply whipped cream. Once you're in ketosis, your taste for sweetness diminishes and your taste buds are more tuned in to rich flavors like chocolate. Where can I go for ketogenic metabolic therapy? If you go to the Charlie Foundation website and select the resources link at the top, it'll bring up this page. If you select find a hospital, you'll get a world map. And we're going to demonstrate the United States and pick California. And it brings up all the centers that we know about in California, for example. And uh, the contact information is available there for you to make contact. Now, if you're not near a center, you can select this option, find a professional, and you'll get a list of keto experts that have been vetted by the Charlie Foundation along with their contact information. Now, a word of caution. There are certain conditions where keto therapy should not be used, and these are called contraindications. An evaluation by a physician, including blood work, is necessary to screen for these. This is a patient of mine before keto and six months later, and the pictures tell it all. She had a remarkable response to keto and is doing beautifully. She was on it for two and a half years, which is pretty typical for children. This is Reese. Her family wrote to us at the Charlie Foundation and shared her experience. She had been on nine failed medications, six of those medications when she started keto. She was having 100 daily seizures drop down to zero within a week. She's been 22 plus months seizure free and six months medication free. This is Deb, she's an adult with a long history of migraine headaches who after trying every known medication, including some anti-seizure medications, she finally got relief with a modified ketogenic diet. These are pictures of her and her favorite meals. Is there a preparation diet before starting keto? Yes, the first step is to get rid of sugar from your diet. And since sugar has many names, this guide will teach you how to identify sugar. This and other resources are available through the Charlie Foundation store. We have cookbooks, we have a parent's guide for children, we have an adult's guide, and even a guide for professionals. The income generated from these resources go right back into creating more. So I'd like to conclude by paying homage to the family of Charlie Abrams. Charlie was on the diet for five years. He's been seizure-free and off medication since age six. 
This is a picture from his high school prom with his family behind him, Jamie, Joseph, and his parents, Nancy and Jim. He's now 30 and has a degree in early childhood education, and he's a preschool teacher in Los Angeles. Please visit charliefoundation.org for more support.